In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your Flutterflow project to GitHub. For those new to Flutterflow, Flutterflow is an amazing way to create native applications without, code, without coding. And what this actually does is, for those new to Flutterflow, it's an amazing way to create native applications without coding. And you can even export that clean code that clean Flutter code and use it however you want to use it. So we're going to get started. We want to head over to GitHub. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create an account if you don't have one, but we want to create a new repository. So one of the easiest ways to create a new repository is just click new here. And then we want to name our repository. So I'm going to name it Flutter Flow Export Tutorial. And that's all I need to do. I really don't need to do anything else. Flutter Flow is going to bring in readme files. It's going to bring in other files. I can add things as I go along just because it's my, it's my GitHub and that's how GitHub operates, but we don't need to add anything to begin with. So we're going to create the repository. And what you'll see here, because I didn't add no files, I didn't add a readme, I didn't add a license, you can't actually see any files, but all we need right now is the URL. Then we're going to head over to Flutterflow. I'm going to sign in. Once we're signed in, we want to find the project we want to export. So I'm going to export this basic Hello World application that I've created in Flutterflow.
So what you will see from this preview is just a basic application where it has this slider and it shows you different basketball images. Very, very simple application. To push this code to GitHub, we first have to have a premium account. You do get a two week free trial if you want to use it. And from then the prices do increase depending on the tier. What we want to do is go to settings and integrations. From here, we want to scroll down and go to GitHub. And then we want to, I have a previous repo, so I'm actually going to remove this repo. And then I want to paste the repo that I just created. I want to then associate the repo. And one of the reasons that it's not associated because you do need to install the Flutterflow GitHub app. So to do that, we want to click here. And then we want to configure because I do have it installed on another application. I'm going to configure it here. And because I had it on select repositories before, I need to add the new repository. And we're going to save that. So now that's installed on the repository. That's the Flutterflow GitHub app. So we can exit out of that. And now we should be able to associate the repo. Now that the repo is associated, we want to push to repository. So we just click here, push to repository. It allows you to create a git commit message and I'm not going to add any message, but this is always helpful to leave notes on your code or what changes have been made or what updates have been made. We're going to push that. So I think an error has been made that I think the error I made was I didn't add any files to begin with. So I want to add a readme file. I want to create a new file.
what I'm going to do is add a readme file. And I'm going to commit this new file. Okay. So now I have this readme file to begin with, and we should be able to go back, push to repository. And what it should do is create a new branch and I have to merge that branch. Okay, so that succeeded. What we need to do now is go to GitHub. What we should do is if I refresh, I should see two branches. So here I can see two branches. And what we can see here is the default branch where we just created the readme file and also the branch that we just pushed from Flutterflow. So what we want to do is create a new pull request. I'm just going to say create new pull request, but you can leave comments and, and notes, if you, especially if you're collaborating with other people. But even if you're working by yourself, it's always good to leave these notes to help you understand what was actually going on if you ever have to go back in the code. So now this pull request is created. What we want to do is view the pull request.
And now what we want to do is merge the pull request. And confirm the merge. And now this has been merged and closed. We can delete this branch. So we're going to go ahead, delete that. And we're going to go back to the code. And what you should see is all the updated code. So you can see the Android code, iOS code. You can see an updated readme file and more. So that is how you export your code from Flutterflow to GitHub.